Hey everybody, welcome to this edition of Mind Your Own Business. Recently, um, I was at Chair World, which is uh, the annual gathering of Vistage chairs, uh, people who run Vistage groups. Uh, really, really uh, rewarding uh, few days. And we had a headliner, a keynote speaker named Daniel Pink. If you Google him, you will see the books he's written. Some of you probably know him. And he gave us seven ways to sort of deepen our motivation. You know, I call it how to survive the great instability. And so love to share these with you quickly. First, create a to don't list. Frankly, we keep putting on to do's and we don't take off the to don'ts and subtraction can be much more powerful and generate more results than adding more. So take some time, start cutting the things you're going to do. One way is to delegate. The other is simply to stop, like stop doing email after six at night. Be a good one. Don't do it before 10 in the morning. Um, set three times a day out for email. Those are some examples. So at the end of each day this year, list three ways you've made progress. The human mind works in an interesting way. We can be awful hard on ourselves. Even if we've had a tough day, if you reflect on and write down, you can journal this, you can put it in a, a Evernote file or whatever note taking tool you use, uh, but just write down what you've made progress on. This is not completing. This is just progress. So if you're making progress on meaningful work, that will satisfy you. Uh, and that creates a feeling that's important, particularly in this great instability where you're being hit on all sides by unexpected, positive and negative, frankly, news. Each week, Start cutting back on telling people how to do things and explain why. This is another part of you stopping working so much in your business and working on it. You've got to grow your people in order to have time to do what you're going to need to do. Fourth, change one word when you ask yourself the question, what should I do? No, it's what could I do? Broaden your mind, broaden the options, brainstorm with yourself. You can also change that to what could we do when you're asking the group. So whether that's direct reports, your board, what could we do is critical. Next, to influence others, build them an off-ramp. There are people in your organization that frankly have delivered as much is they're going to deliver to you and you need to make it easy for them to act. You need to make sure you understand their aspirations, their goals, and to help them move forward. If they're not actively contributing to the direction and growth of the company uh, and helping drive success in this time, you're going to find that that's an anchor. And so help them help them improve their situation so they can get the most out of their work life and you can get the most uh, out of the partnerships you choose within your company. Schedule a 15 minute walk outside, it has to be outside, no phone, nobody else, unless you're gonna take a walk and not talk about work, but just Take 15 minutes. This should be a performance requirement for your team. Don't do it all together. You can't talk work. Don't take your phone. This gives you that mental break that you're going to need to improve. And then once you get this, let's go every afternoon or every mid-morning. Next, find boldness. And boldness is important in these times. You know, we all play it safe. And the biggest issue that we're finding with people over 50 is what they regret. In fact, if you Google the National Regret or the World Regret Survey, you can take that. But 
the path not taken, the opportunity not acted upon is the number one regret out there. So find that boldness to do what you really want to do, but you keep yourself from doing. And that's it. So hopefully these help you. Look up Daniel Pink. He's got several books out. There's a lot of good stuff there. And uh, drop me a line if I can help. Take care.